Hey everybody, welcome back to Blink Camp week number four of five. And this week I wanted to touch base a little bit with you on a couple of things. So our glute, our butt is made up of three um, muscles in the glute. Um, in our muscular structure when we're training, we have fast twitch muscles, and slow twitch muscles, fibers. And so our slow twitch muscles are about endurance, okay? So those are the muscles for running, those are the kind of things that you wanna develop for endurance type activities. For um, the fast twitch, you are looking at um, muscles that are like bursts of strength, okay? So in the glute structure, what this translates into is that there are, we have three parts to the glute muscles. Uh, glute medius and glute minoris are slow twitch. Maximus is fast twitch, okay? So when we are runners and we are looking for endurance type strength, we are training the two smaller muscles of the glute system. The glute maximus is our strength and uh, glute maximus is what you're training if you're looking for a bubble booty. Um, just saying, <laughs> I'm not training for a bubble booty. Spent half my life trying to make my butt smaller and now everybody wants a bigger butt. Um, so, what we do in terms of exercises for the glute maximus, we want not just um, move, 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 move. We want to come into contractions and holds. Okay, and adding extra weight will help in training the glute maximus. Um, probably more information that you that you than you wanted, but just so that you know, um, there are different exercises for training different parts of the glute. And what I'm trying to do through this month is give you a variety of exercises that are going to help you train the whole system and do it in ways that are uh, favoring the fast twitch as well as the slow twitch. So when you come into a static hold, like a bridge lift and you're squeezing and you're holding, um, those are fast twitch exercises. When you're pumping uh, your bridge lift, then you're coming into slow twitch, okay? Anyways, um, today we are going to um, start again, activate, strengthen, and stretch, all right? So activating, today we are starting two exercises. These are going to be familiar, um, and you are going to know the pain that they can, can bring into your life. So coming into our tabletop position, hands, or sorry, wrists under the shoulders, and you're lifting yourself up and away from the floor. Feet are flat, knees under the hips, and think about fitting yourself into um, a belt, all right? So you're tightening the belt. So that's how you can come to engage your core. So think about yourself fitting inside your tight belt. So there's a, there's a wrap, okay, that comes around and in to hold your, hold your belly in. So think about tightening up your belt and that, that's how you're gonna engage your core because I don't want you engaging your core by pulling your belly button into your spine and suddenly you're up here. You want a nice neutral spine. You wanna think about fitting into your belt. So we're going to start on our left side and I'm gonna have you flex the toes on your left. And all we're doing is lifting out in those hydrants. So there isn't a lot of range here. I want you to Stay in that hips flat to the floor mode. We're not opening up, all right? So stay tight here across the back, hips running across the floor. Good, and last one, we're gonna work away in reps of 10. I'm gonna have you come into five circles to the front. And then we're gonna reverse it for five to the back. So you're tracing those circles with your knee. Excellent, and then we're gonna switch up to the other side. So flexing the right foot, left toes are down on the floor. Tighten up that belt, out to the side. And really reach with the knee, 
like you're pointing out with that knee, reach with it. Pressing up and away from the floor. Good, two more. Excellent, now trace those circles with the knee. Think about those glute muscles. Feel yourself using them. And reverse for five. Excellent, I'm gonna have you bring yourself down. We are coming all the way down. You can create uh, space to rest your head if you wanna keep your head down. I want you to hook your right toes and engage that leg. We're gonna bend our left knee and we're going to lift. So lift, squeeze the glute, all right? This is coming into your maximus. You've got a full-time contraction happening and pulse. Good, last two. Excellent. Hook those toes, engage that leg, bend on the other side, lift. Try and get the front of your thigh off the floor. Squeeze. Excellent, bringing it all back down. We're gonna push back. Come to knees wide open and press back. Give that a little stretch. I always like to stretch. Our first exercise. All right, so we're coming into our strengthening. You can, I've been working on forearm plank. My high plank is uh, solid. My forearm plank tends to be a little wobbly. So, coming into plank, and we're going to lift, lift. Straight leg, straight up, stay in plank. Last one, and switch, other side, 10 lifts. Everything stays active. Last one, excellent, drop it down, lift and lengthen, bring it back in. So we're going to come over to hands facing our hips and we're going to lift up here, pull it up, all right, so we're going to lift and bend and come around. Lift, bend, and around. Last one. Bring it down. Lift up. Reach. Excellent. Shake it out. We're going to come over to the other side. Lifting up, lift, bend, and down. Lift, bend, down. Last one. Excellent. Bring it up and reach. So moving into our stretch today, and again, two, three sets, whatever works for you. Coming to bottoms of the feet together. Find your sit bones. Press those knees down. Lift up long through the spine and fold forward. Excellent. Butterfly, all right, move those legs. Our second stretch today, one of my favorites, down dog. So plant the hands, step back to your down dog, 
pedal it out. Bend the knees, drop the hips. Press back into it. Hips reaching for the ceiling. Heels pulling to the floor. Soften through the head, neck, and shoulders. Excellent. Bring it back down. There you have it. Week four, fast twitch and slow twitch, activation, strength, and stretch. Hopefully you're enjoying the series. Hopefully you enjoyed today's components and I will look forward to seeing you next week for the last glute camp episode. See you then.